Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make classic chicken cordon bleu. I'll be showing you how to make classic fried chicken cordon bleu as well as a baked version so you can choose. I'll also be showing you how to make a delicious Dijon mustard sauce to pour over the top. Now there's two ways to do this. If you have thick chicken breasts, you can slice them and stuff them. But these are pretty thin, so I'm gonna place them in between two pieces of parchment paper and pound them out till they're nice and thin, and then we're gonna stuff them with the ham and cheese and roll them up. You want them to end up being a nice thin but even thickness. Then I'm gonna season each side with a little bit of salt and black pepper. Then we'll grab some deli sliced ham as well as some sliced Swiss cheese. So we'll layer on one slice of ham, then I fold my cheese in half so I can cut it a little bit easier, spread that out, and then layer on some more ham. Then we'll simply just roll this up and kind of stuff the cheese and meat in as you go. Then repeat this process with three more chicken breasts for four total. If they try to unravel themselves, you can always secure them with toothpicks. I'm gonna bake half of these and fry the other half so I can show you both ways. If you're baking, you'll want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're frying, you'll want to heat half a cup of vegetable oil in a large skillet to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's heating, we'll prepare our dipping station. You'll need three different bowls. In the first bowl, add half a cup of all-purpose flour. In the second bowl, you'll want to whisk one large egg with one tablespoon of water. Then in the last bowl, you'll need one cup of plain breadcrumbs. If you wanna switch things up, you can add seasonings to the flour and breadcrumbs, but the classic option is to just keep it plain. You'll roll each stuffed chicken breast to coat it in flour. Then we'll roll it in the egg mixture. And last but not least, we'll finish it off in the breadcrumbs. For the baked version, you'll want to lightly grease a nine by 13 pan. I'm using a smaller one because I'm only doing two. And then you'll want to place your chicken seam side down into the pan. And then we'll bake these in the 450 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. The fried version starts out the exact same way. Roll it in flour, dip it in egg, roll it in breadcrumbs, but then You'll place them seam side down directly in the 350 degree oil. You'll let them cook for oh, four or five minutes per side until golden brown. If they get too brown, you can always transfer them to a baking dish and finish them off in the oven. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make this quick Dijon sauce that is just so good. Start by melting two tablespoons of salted butter in a small saucepan over medium heat. Then we'll whisk in one tablespoon of cornstarch until all the white specks are gone. Then I'll pour in a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Then we'll slowly whisk in one cup of milk and bring this to a simmer. After two or three minutes, it'll start to simmer and you'll see that it thickens right up. And then I just pour this into a little serving dish. Once your chicken reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, you're ready to eat. You can see here that the baked version is much lighter in color than the fried version, but both are delicious. You can serve it up whole or you can slice and serve. Either way, you wanna serve it up immediately and drizzle over this delicious sauce. Oh my gosh, this is so good. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.